I'm gonna start calling you Burrito. I'm gonna develop a lisp in my older age, and this is my life partner, Burrito. What are you laughing at, Burrito? Oh, I love Let's get this thing together now. What? Let's God. get this thing together now. Yeah, I got blamed on you, Burrito. <laughs> What's going on, YouTube? Burrito, Burrito and the Lucha Cabre here. And today, very special edition. Yes. It's very, not red. Nope. And it's not blue. Nope. We got ourselves the Tau Motor Triton 125 Go Kart. Go Kart. Yep. And this thing, or buggy, whichever you guys want to call it. This thing is really cool. You guys check it out. With I the like this plastic. design a little better than the ones you've been getting. Yeah. The, the white plastics, they just came out with this thing. Sets I, it off. I'm really jazzed about it. The white plastics with the graphics kit. It really sets it off. It's a whole kit? This red, yeah, well, it's the graphics, oh. the sticker kit. Upgrade, people, upgrade. Yeah, yeah, the graphics, the color. This orange! Red, it's like a burnt, burnt orange. red, or burnt orange, like a Ford burnt orange. I really orange. like this color. And they even did the wheels up. Um, with but a, with a sticker back. graphics package. <laughs> yeah, so what we're going to do, and, and as you guys can see, we'll see in a minute when we put the seats on, the seats are two-tone as well. This has got a USB port for two USB connections. And Are you I had a friend. Yep. If you had it. Yep. So this thing is really, really cool. We're gonna go over the features as we put it together. We already and know. We'll be putting it together. We already know these things are quick. <laughs> yeah. So you know, we're gonna go ahead and get this thing a test drive once we get it together. Drive it up and down the street. Lynch is gonna take. Oh God! It's coming at you, people. Yep. And then uh, we'll maybe we'll, maybe we'll do a little race. I got you, B. <laughs> yeah. We'll see. That's only because of weight. Okay. Oh, hey. But exactly. anyways, we're gonna get this thing together. So we're going to go ahead. You, you might see some parts sped up in this process, but you will go the on. Process done. So what it consists of is you got to put together. Go ahead. Take it away. Liz. The front suspension, obviously, because it comes all collapsed. Uh, you got to put on the rear suspension and the uh, rear tires, along with the front tires, of course. And then you've got to put on the gas tank and the uh, roll bar. And the cage. Oh, and, and then it's got, yeah, it's, it's got the, uh, the, the harness in the back for, for all your goodies yes. that you want to take down the trails when you're modding them. Yep. And then you put on the cage as well. Cage, seats, and uh, your safety equipment. Yes. You want to wear some seat belts. Because as you see, you can fly <laughs> <out> <laughs> yeah, Yes. It's a really fast car. And we do recommend all the safety with this. We recommend you guys wear Don't do belts. like we do. Yeah. Do like Voodoo do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't, you know, we do recommend seat belts. We do recommend wearing the seat belts. All the way down. Yes, we do. I wear my seatbelts. Oh, that. crap. We're supposed to? Really? <laughs> yeah. In real life? Yeah. Oh, crap. Don't do what I do, people. <laughs> Do what I do. Anyways, wear your helmet and stuff like that. This That too? Yes, this car is oh, quick. Crap. And it's fun. It is really It is a fun car, people. It's a very surprising mid-sized car. Quick as crap! And I think it's great for the bank for your Very bike. fast! So anyways, let's go ahead and get this thing together and let's get on with it. Shall we? Get away from me. We're back. We are back, people. Alright. What well, we gotta start with on this Triton 125 Tau Tau Motors. Tau Motor go-kart. <laughs> We gotta pull, uh, pull this cradle up before we can put the rear yeah. wheels on. So in order to do that, I gotta pick it up here so Luke can put in the yeah. shocks. Down, 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 down. And then put the bolt in. Yeah, a little bit. All right. Bada bing, there's one. Give me that nut. Is there a washer with that too, or no? No! And we should just almost pull right in. Whoa, whoa, hold on here. Other side. There we go. And you just slap in the nut here. Just like so. And then Luch will be tightening that up. He will be, huh? All yes, right, sir. So what I'm going to do now is while he's put together that front end, I'm going to get these tires on so we can actually set this thing down and actually be able to work on things safely. Even though it is semi-safe, but not safe enough. This thing's not safe at all! <laughs> I don't know what you're telling these people, but you know, I wouldn't trust it. <laughs> it's sitting on the lift here. It is a little awkward. All right, now you can get that on there. And I'll go ahead and start doing the front end. Yep, so once you get your tire on, this is how it goes. Flat washer, lock washer, castle nut. Now, what you wanna do when you do tighten this castle nut up is you wanna make sure and get that wheel all the way in before you completely tighten it up. And do you have that socket, by the way? Which socket is that? Mr. Mr. Cabre. The socket that is the size for this. I wish you wouldn't call me names. <laughs> I mean, I have the socket for this, sir, so I can tighten this down. See, you're going to <laughs> Reach into your bag of tricks. Look, like Felix. Felix the cat. Oh, he's a wonderful cat. <laughs> <laughs> and 
and the socket that you're going to use it is a monster of a socket and it is a 30 millimeter a 30 millimeter yeah you read that right three zero people is that the right one <laughs> three zero is that fit the nine yes 30 millimeter people <laughs> That's what I was saying. I'm like, wow. Oh, how our public schools have failed us. <laughs> so what you want to do is you want to go over to your toolbox and you want to get your breaker bar. Not to hit loose with, hey, loose, by the way. What? You know oh. the, that 13 millimeter socket you were looking for earlier? Yeah. Look it. Here it is. You left it on the ratchet the last time when we put something together. Very cool. <laughs> Look, people, we got a new socket for our collection. No, we have the same socket. What? <laughs> Wow, that wasn't very nice. No. Words hurt, mister. We're in a politically correct environment here. Yes. I have feelings too, you know. Yes. Hey, you got me all mixed up. I'm tightening my nut, not loosening my pull. No locked doors. No <laughs> Okay. Oops. All right. There we have it. Hey, you're done. I'm done. Let's take it for a ride. <laughs> so, anyways, now that I've got the bigger, the half inch drive, with this 30 millimeter socket. 30 millimeters! Is it really 30 millimeters? Look, it has a three and a zero, right? Three, zero, right? That's a big socket. What is three zero for me? 30. Yeah, 30. It's a 30 millimeter socket. Yeah. And if this guy is harassing me, and I'm just, I'm not, I'm hallucinating here, comment below. <laughs> okay. Hell yeah, you know the deal. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you do know that deal, don't you? All right, people. Okay, so anyways, after you've got your 30 millimeter socket on there with your castle nut, you make sure your castle nut's lined up. You get your cotter pin, your Mr. Cotter pin. Ooh, 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 ooh. And you go ahead and drop it right down in the hole there. Bend as necessary. Yep, exactly. And these aren't too bad. So you just bend it, boom. Bend it, boom. Boom. Okay, after that is done, you reach over and you, can, you conveniently grab your rubber bumper baby cumper. What? Cover. Yeah, your, your, your wheel nut cover. And you pop that on. Once you that got that on, voila, you have your wheel on. Now let's go over to the other side, I'll get that done. And we'll, we'll uh, see if we can keep caught up with Luke this time. <laughs> catch up, buddy, catch up. I'm working on it, guy. Okay. Well, I, I know I haven't been saying much on the front. I know you have appreciated that. But what we've done is, as in the rest of the uh, buggies we've done, you got to put in your uh, lower control arm, uh, put the castle nut and the lock washer in uh, until tight, and then put your Mr. Carter pin, of course, in there. You do that with your uh, lower control arm, and we're going to do that now with our uh, tie rod end. And, of course, you have to put your shock in and tighten it as well, which you've been watching me do. We're on the tie rod end portion of our program today. So we put that in as such. And tighten two factory specs. And then install Mr. Carter. Yeah. Now, as uh, in every other tire that we've done, these are directional. And the tires have little arrows on them to tell you which way to go. Come here, Although, you got the watchers? Yes, I brought them for you, my friend. Oh, okay. Thank you very much, my friend. We have, we have one, two, three, one, two, three. Yep. Three, three nuts. watchers, three knots. And what size are those nuts? 13? I believe they are 13. Let's take a look. Shall we? One, two, three. Like that. This is going to be fun to drive tomorrow. And make sure you tighten them evenly. Yep, and while Lucha Cabre is retrieving that socket. I'll get the socket now. running gear assembled. Yes, there we go. Now, people, now that this is all assembled, they left this little baby buggy bumper ah! right here oh. on the floorboard. Ah, jack it back up. What? Jack it up. This, that little bubby baby bumper goes uh, on your master cylinder, people. Once you got everything down on the uh, ride height level, you're going to need to adjust your brake uh, master cylinder here. How do we do that, Looch? Well, it's like this, see? We gotta take that loose right bar. Take it, Looch? Take it, Looch! Now, this is just one of the new products that Tal Motor came out 14 with. 14 millimeter. 14 millimeter. This is actually the 125 go-kart they do have. This is the medium-sized go-kart. They do have a full-size go-kart. 
um, which you guys have seen some of, and you guys, when they do get the final model in, you guys will see us putting that together as well, too. That's the Tattle Motor Baja 200 Sport. They also, Rival is coming out with some stuff as well, too, which Rival is the Lexus of Tattle Motor. Like Toyota and Lexus, you have Tattle Motor and Rival. So keep your eyes out for it. We got a lot of stuff coming up. A lot of stuff. All right. Now then. So now we've got that. We got your little uh, Columbus pin here. And I'm we can put this on your uh, master cylinder down there to keep the dust and all the sundry whatnots out of there. And I'm going to go ahead and put on the gas tank. There we go. And these bolts are an eight to eight millimeter on the bolt and a ten millimeter on the nut for the gas tank. You're going to have to guess at what sizes mine are. Five millimeter or ten, uh, eight millimeter and ten millimeter. Same thing. Yep. All right. Now to adjust your your brake uh, play here, you want just a little play, just so it's not all uh, you play. know pumping the brakes for you. And once you get that just sweet spot, you tighten it down. Beautiful. There you have it. How are you doing over there? All right, I got the brakes and I got the baby buggy bumper. Ah! Yeah. What about the rubber bumper, baby bumper in the front? That's just the same thing. That's not the bumper, that's the protector. Right, the baby buggy bumper. That's a dust cover. Oh, whatever, pal. Pal. Oh, we're pals now. Oh. You didn't know that? Oh, okay. People, I'm going to put on first, I believe. The light, the headlight. All right, here we are, people, back. I'm back on to the front bumper, people. <laughs> That's not my fault. <laughs> this ain't college. All right. the seats bolted in we got to put the three screws on the side panel because we put the uh, seats on and then I put on the roll bars here we got the tank on I'm gonna put the other bars in and then Luch is gonna put on the uh, the steering wheel connect the gas connect the plugs we're gonna put some gas in this thing and fire it up what oh do you think Luch? boy I can't wait. I don't know why it gets better for a whole company to put this in together you know, it's 30 degrees cooler at my house, That's true. but no, you refuse to go up there. I go up there occasionally. He's a weenie. On occasion. You haven't been up there in a year. <laughs> I've got to come down here into the devil's butthole. I moved up there for a reason. All right. Yeah, all right, all right. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. Now well, we got that one, 10 millimeter. This guy in here. Oh, man. It's... I really like this, uh, the features they got on this now with the, the little helmet clamp and, and all the cool stuff. They got, even got a, they put a sticker on there for an indicator now of, uh, of where the ignition is supposed to be. <laughs>
I'm gonna put on zip ties, connect the gas. Uh, zip tie, boy, I got 14 pounds of boat. I got you in a good time. And 14, I'm done. Do you believe that? Yes. All right, there you go. Zip ties. Well, I'm gonna zip tie it, but I'm gonna put this in there first and do it properly, buddy. That's not proper. All right. You gotta connect the gas. I don't know where the gas goes. Yes, you do. You've done this before. This is my first rodilio. Rodidly diddly diddlyo. Let's break this down to you guys real quick. These are going to be the things that you guys are going to run into, the obstacles, okay? When you're putting this, <laughs> besides me, when you're putting the seats on, I would suggest you remove these two bolts on the side plastic so you can bring it back. It makes it easier to makes, get the seatbelt bolt down there. Makes it a lot easier to get the seatbelt bolt, really does. bolt on, okay? And then also, on the carburetor, there is a little secondary, I don't know what the heck that is. A uh, vacuum nipple. Yes. Okay, you do. You got to make sure to connect your lines your correctly line and your vacuum lines appropriately because the way the system's set up, it's set up to run the vacuum all the way through the tank as well, too, to keep the fumes. It's more of an EPA sort of thing. EPA! Yeah, so you want to make sure to connect your fuel line to the proper place. If you don't, it will still run. But I'll gas everywhere! But you're going to get gas everywhere. There's actually gas. Ask me how I know! Yeah. <laughs> it's going to backflow through the carburetor into the air filter housing and fill up there. It will still run for a second. But you're gonna you're, you're gonna end up with a fireball if you don't pay attention. Ask me how I know. So make sure you get your fuel line right. Now, um, third thing, what was it? There was three. Yeah, the brake. Oh yeah, you gotta you gotta adjust your brake uh, uh, clutch band in there. Yep. So it doesn't uh, make the brake stick. Yep. It definitely you, you, you don't want to mess with that. You you know, don't say hey my brakes aren't working. No, you gotta you, adjust you, it down there. You gotta adjust it, and that is something that this is one of the first carts that I've seen they've done this on. You know, actually, I think they we did there's another one, yeah. Yeah, there's the Baja. Probably the other uh, Tau Motors 120. <laughs> no, it was the Baja. It was the same thing. Baja! On the Baja 200. These are the first two buggies that we've experienced that. So you got to make sure to do that. There's a little rubber boot that you'll see on the floor. That's kind of a on. reminder. So you got to pull it's that. It's important. Yeah, to pull that, to put that boot on. Okay? Um, besides that, I don't think there was really a deal. Gas and go! Gas and go, yeah. So we're at that point now. Right! So what we're going to do... Let's we're go! Gonna, we're gonna let Luke do the arts. What? Start it, Luke. All right. Look at that, people! So there you go. Instantly floods your garage with carbon monoxide. Now turn the lights real quick. Make sure we got lights. Okay, we got tail lights. That. We got headlights. Awesome. Wow, well, uh, yeah. Oh, those are bright. So there we go. Go ahead and shut it off. But I like the feeling it's giving me. Yeah. Now. All right, we're back. All right, we're back. <laughs> so. He's real happy that he finished up this buggy, I'll tell you what. So I'll tell you what. Yeah, this is the Triton 125 go-kart. By Town Motors. By Town Motors. This thing is a blast. It's kicking the It's torch. fun, it's, it's fast, and it looks a lot better than the other one. Yeah, it, I really like the accents, the white, the white plastic. It's almost like a Swedish accent. Yeah. <laughs> it looks it looks pretty cool. So you guys, this is coming out pretty darn quick. I would suggest getting one. So Me too! Yeah, it's a fun buggy. We're gonna show some video driving this one tomorrow, but we've already had the tester, and I'll tell you. This thing's fast. Faster than the other one. Yeah, it, it, it is surprisingly fast. So, you know, you, you want to get something cool that you can fit in, but not... Well, not that you could fit in, yeah, but no, you, you, you are there. Look, look, people. You can fit in this thing, okay? But this is how it is. But it's a fun little tight fit, okay? <laughs> He's scared. <laughs> I, I bet the buggy's scared because you're going to drive it. It's no fun. But anyways... This is more of a mid-sized buggy. Hello, the buggy. right side of the suspension on this. Oh, bond. <laughs> this is a mid-sized buggy. It is recommended for, for teens, small people, for teens and, and youths. Youths, but, but it, it, it does go pretty good. It runs. And so I want to thank Tom Motors for giving us the opportunity to slap this together. Tom Motors, and trust Tom us, Motors. we did slap it together. Yes. And, and 
you know, it, this one was an experience. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> you know, I'm would not you sure guys, if the bunny was the experience yeah. or if burrito was. <laughs> would you guys go to put these together? you got to have some patience. Okay. And don't let your heterosexual life partner help you. Yeah, don't get overwhelmed. But anyways, overall, it wasn't too bad to put together. There's just a few little things that you got to pay attention to. And I hope we cover them. Yeah, and once you drive it, you need to go over all your bolts. And Every check bolt. It, check it all over. Gets again. a wrench. All right? So I want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to come back to Dorito and the Lucha Cabra. Peace. Peace. Thanks for, thanks for watching. Don't forget to, to, to hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the bell. Thanks for watching. Bye.